Hi friends, um, I wanted to come on live today and talk to you about a few things. Um, I wanted to title this video, Five Tips to Having a Guilt-Free Celebration. Um, I get the question a lot about how do I eat when I have to go to an event? Um, a few of my clients will be attending family weddings soon. We just had Easter, so you might have had a brunch or a dinner. Uh, some of you are on vacation for spring break and you're worried about derailing um, your nutrition strategies. Um, Memorial Day barbecues are just around the corner or maybe you have to attend an event. There'll be lots of food and drink and you don't know how to handle it. Um, here to tell you it can be done. So thanks for watching. My name is Alicia. I'm a mom of two, a personal trainer and a faster way to fat loss certified coach. My passion is for women to look and feel their best so they can efficiently, effectively give back to their communities, families, and their churches. So first things first, I wanted to let you know water is the best thing for you. Um, water, water, water. Proper hydration is necessary. Uh, it also fills up your stomach. So if you're indulging in some not so healthy foods for the day, um, water keeps everything moving, keeps everything going, and you can get that stuff out of your system uh, quicker than normal. So also number two, um, if possible, try to eat before you go. Um, that way when you get to your event, you know, you'll know you'll be getting a good quality food um, at home. And so when you show up at your event, you're not gonna overindulge or be so famished and hungry that you, you know, eat the first thing you see and end up going off the deep end. So, um, number one, water. Number two, try to eat before you go. Uh, number three, eat from the veggie tray or the fruit tray uh, first to fill you up. Obviously, those are healthy options. Um, try to eat whole foods, casseroles, and mixed mayonnaise type salads, usually higher in calories, and you don't exactly know all the ingredients. So they usually have extra sugar, fats, and creams. So um, if you can stay away from those, it'd be great. But obviously fruit tray is great, veggie tray, green salads. Uh, also there's usually like a cut of meat. So if you have ham or prime rib or slice of beef, obviously that's more of a whole food um, and you know exactly what you're getting. Um, also remember the portion sizes. So sometimes this is when sit down dinners are great just because they sit down, you have your plate of food, it's already portioned, you got carb, protein, veggies, um, and your meat or fish. Um, so if you don't have that, obviously it's harder to eat at a barbecue or a buffet or picnic type um, setting. So um, if you end up grazing kind of all day long, you can obviously eat too much and consume too many calories. So when you go to watch, try to make your um, plate just kind of as portioned as you can. Uh, let's see, find my notes. And if you do make your plate and sit down and eat, then you wouldn't have to go back to seconds or thirds, or hopefully you can get a good quality meal from that plate. Hey, Shanna. Yes, I'm in Japan. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, number four, eat the cake, drink the wine, have a beer. You're obviously at this, um, it's a celebration, you need to enjoy the day. Um, food can be a healthy part of celebrations, you just have to um, do it moderately. You aren't going to derail your nutrition plan just from one day of eating at a celebration. Uh, you, it, a lot of us are just too hard on ourselves. Um, I think of, I think I read in a book, but, um, you know, if, well, tomorrow is a new day, so you're not going to, you know, don't be so hard on yourself for having one day of celebration as you're eating. Um, I know, um, yeah, I read in a book, like if you picture a birthday cake, a piece of birthday cake, you know, a lot of us are thinking, yay, celebration, somebody's having a birthday, it's time to celebrate. Um, however, there's a lot of people that do see that and they think, oh, and they automatically feel guilty. I shouldn't eat that, but I really want to eat the cake. If I eat the cake, how many laps will I have to do at the track tomorrow to burn it off? Um, and, you know, they start playing these mental games and guilt games. And it shouldn't be like that. Um, celebrations do 
involve food and drink and it should be celebrated. Um, so anyway, it's just in moderation. And like I said, the next day is a new day. You can get back on your eating plan and you don't have to worry about, um, you're not going to gain five pounds just from one day of um, maybe poor choices of eating. Um, in my uh, faster way to fat loss groups, my with my clients, I talk about making progress and not perfection. So it's baby steps and we want to make correct choices to make this a lifestyle change. Hey, Deborah, thanks for watching. And um, uh, make it a to make it a lifestyle change, and that's what life is about. There's always going to be a social gathering. Social gatherings do involve food and drink most of the time, so we just have to know how to handle it. Um, the last tip, number five, is to get moving. Um, I always think of Thanksgiving meal. Everybody eats a huge meal, then everybody sits down on the couch, falls asleep watching football. It doesn't have to be like that. Um, play a game of football instead. Get your family outside, go play football. If you're at a wedding, get out there and dance. Start moving, you know. Um, just burn, start burning the calories that you've eaten. Uh, just keep moving, go for a walk, go for a hike. You'll definitely feel better if you do some sort of exercise, even if it's just walking. Um, but if you can avoid sitting down or just going to bed, um, it's better. So anyway, those are my top five tips for surviving a special occasion, usually involving food and drink. Um, if you found this video helpful, please let me know. Share it with someone that you might think it's uh, helpful as well. And if you'd like to learn more about the Faster Way to Fat Loss and my online programs, click the link. Um, I'll have it down below in the comments. And I'm just starting to open up registration for my group that will be starting prep week on April 16th. And uh, this time as well, I'll be starting my very own men's group. So ladies, if you're in my groups and you want your husband to join, there will be a group specially for men. Um, or if someone's out there and you want to join the group and your husband wants to join as well, you can join the same time, be on the same weeks, and you'll be in separate groups for men, separate groups for women. And um, there's a discount if you both sign up. So head to my website and check it out. And I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.